Yo, what up, Team Wash Life? It's yours truly, Mr. Lang. How we doing? Listen here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to plumb an IBC tote. Sometimes it's confusing. There's weird threads. You know, the threads are, uh, they're big and it's hard to get fittings and yada, yada, yada. So, fear no more. I'm gonna show you real quick how I, how I do this. There's a site called US Plastics and you can buy an attachment. The attachments for IBC totes, the pipe fittings. So you'll see the thread is huge. It's like three, three or four threads and then it comes down to these, which is the more common, what is it, NPT or something. You know, or you can go the cam lock route and get it so the end is a cam lock. Still, it will thread on. I got both because I wasn't sure which route, but I think I'm going to go with this, the threads. Ugh. And then here's what I'm talking about. Off the IBC tote, it's real big threads. Now, if you get a real basic IBC tote or say this thing's broken, which they do break, you can take this whole piece off. Which I almost did. I almost just went ahead and got new, but I said, screw it, I'll save some money. And I just, I'm, I'm still going to use this part, but you could take this whole black piece off and they have them where they sell the whole piece and it'll be like the whole piece and the end will be this, right? So you can buy the whole piece, it's like 50 bucks, or you could just buy the attached, if you already got that on there, you can just buy the attachment and this is like 18 bucks or 15 bucks, something like that. So I saved some money and went that route. So like I was saying, I went with the threaded attachment, which is going to screw on to the IBC tote. It's gonna screw into that ball that, where the lever is, the screw on there coming out of there. Okay. And then I grabbed one of these. It's a two inch, threaded, and then smooth. So we'll screw it onto there. And then I'm going to cut a small section of PVC, a few inches right there, cut it off, pop it in there, pop this onto there, and then with the remaining portion, pop that in there, come straight out. As you can tell, it's going to be coming out like that. So this is right after the 90 degree. And then we'll have it splice. So we'll have... Uh, one of these or whatever or wait, this is what I was gonna do We'll cut a small section of inch to reduce it down. I Couldn't find a two inch barb. So that's why I reduced it down To an inch so it'll be like that and we'll have a hose Coming off with a ball valve kind of we'll probably just tuck it under there But if we need to dump the tank quick it, we can just drop the flex hose down open the valve dump the tank and then we'll actually have even a second one because this is a splice here a one and a half inch splice sorry if I'm losing you but this is the only way to explain it real quick because I'm not about to waste all this time recording it and putting one piece on piece by piece and you know what I mean I just don't have the time so um, we're gonna have that coming off but it's not gonna be this long right so we're gonna chop it off like Bam, B, bam, B. So once it's chopped off, it'll be real short, like right there. Again, another barb. So we'll basically have two little tiny sections of pipe with a hose barb, okay? So the hose barb will then connect to this. So we'll have the banjo. That banjo will go straight to our power washer. You know, this, this hose will run straight to the back of the van where the power washer is going to be. I was going to stuff it all in the front here, but I decided against that. It takes so much time. So it's going to run all the way to the back. And then we'll also have another splice to fill buckets up from the very back if we need to. So if we're at the back and we need to fill a bucket up, we can. If we're over here and we need to fill a bucket up, we can. I didn't need to do that. It's just the way it worked because I did need to splice it. So it just because of that, I have extra dumps, extra dump valves. Or we could dump the tank quicker. I was thinking of maybe just capping it, capping it off, but um, I want that extra dump valve just in case we need to dump super quick or <clears throat> have the accessibility to have to be filling up water at two separate locations. So you don't have to wait for someone while they're filling up a bucket. 
it's gonna be nice so so far the plan is the tank's gonna be there we'll have both the hose reels here I was gonna mount the hose reels up here and have the power washer here the reason I'm not going to is because it would be really close to the tank which I'd have wood separating it anyway but do I really feel like playing around with that not at the moment um, also I would need to like get a welder to like weld a extension on my exhaust so my exhaust is redirected outside I really should do it here too but I figured I could leave it this way at least temporarily for a few weeks so I pop this power washer right up here a little bit to the right of the of the uh, van just pop it up there have all the doors wide open like this we can at least run it and it should be all right this is what procrastinating gets you it really wasn't procrastinating it's just i didn't have the setup in time i still don't it's still a mess in here but we're making it happen baby we have to get this whole thing built in one day one day so i'm gonna get back to it peace